All right, guys, welcome to another tutorial. And in this video, what I want to do is I want to explain pretty much the overall structure of a really basic, simple app. So make sure that you have, and these files should already be open because they probably open by default whenever you created your project. But if you accidentally close them, make sure you have this activity main.xml open. And that's, of course, an app, res, layout, activity main, and this one right here, mainactivity.java. And that's, of course, an app, Java, your com dot the new Boston, my app, or whatever you named it package, and this file right here. So, again, these two files open. And remember, in the last couple of tutorials, I said every single app is made up of these things called activities. Now, for now, just think of an activity as a screen. So, if you're making an app for, I don't know, like uh, your website. You might have an activity for your profile page, you might have an activity for the home screen, you might have an activity for like the about section for your company or something, I don't know. But each app, like I said, is made up of these screens, and these screens, the technical, technical ugh, name for them is an activity. So with that being said, we can now talk about this. Each activity within your app is made up of two parts. The first part is the part we see right here. Right here, it's the user interfaces where all your colors, your text, um, pretty much the design of your activity is going to be right here in this XML file. Now, the brains of your activity is this Java file right here. For example, whenever you have a button on your activity and you click it, well, you need to tell that button to do something. So, the smart intelligence of your activity is going to be all in this code, the Java file. So, again, your app is made up of activities, different screens. Now each screen has uh, pretty much a user interface, the design, and the smarts of it, or the brains of it, and that's a Java class. So pretty much, if we ever wanted to make another activity, what we would do is we would create a new class with a new name and a new XML file. Simple enough. So now that we understand pretty much the basic overview of what an activity is and what they're made up of, we can start talking about the different um, components of it. So hop over to this XML file, which I said is pretty much the interface, the layout of your entire app, what it looks like. Now, if you look at the bottom, we have two different tabs right here, the design view and the text view. Now, I want to mention this because this might confuse some people. This is actually just two different views of the same exact file. What Android Studio did is they built this tool that is pretty much just a user friendly tool of working with the interface. But what it's actually doing whenever you, I don't know, like edit part of your interface is it's actually editing an underlying file for you. And that's the XML file. So you can either do that with the design tool by dragging and dropping stuff in editing some settings or just editing the source code directly. So let's actually go ahead and look at an example of this. The first thing I want to do is get rid of this. So hop over to your XML file in design view, click on this hello world, and then just hit delete on your keyboard. So we have a blank nothing here. So the first thing I probably should mention is this. What you can do to each of your activities is you can add widgets to them. Now widgets are just little thingies that you add to your interface and I say thingies because there's not really one word to describe all these things. For example, let's add one of these large text areas and this is pretty much to add any static not changing text. So let's just go ahead and drag that in the middle and type anything you want. So if you actually drag it in the middle you're going to see these little green grid lines and that's just to align everything properly. Now if you double click this then you can edit the text of it and I'm just going to type in like the new Boston hit enter and it changes so it's really intuitive like that not really hard to figure out so you can also add some more widgets if you want again like I said I'm just demonstrating um, how to use the basic tools so feel free to drag any of these widgets on if you just want to play around with it for example you have radio buttons and progress bars all that stuff so again widgets are just thingies that you can add to your interface. Now again, you can either do that in design mode or text mode. So whenever you click text mode, it actually shows you a little preview right here, which is actually nice. So let's go ahead and just add one 
little property. So in your XML file right here, just so um, you don't, you know, I don't leave you guys hanging, and I do explain everything. If you guys never work with XML before, it's pretty much like HTML, but you can use cool names for your tags. So if you don't know HTML or XML, then I'll probably recommend going to watch those tutorials. But as long as you know HTML, then you guys will probably be able to follow along with these tutorials fine. So again, a real quick overview. We're going to be talking about this in detail later on. This tutorial is just to give you guys a basic understanding. So right now, our main tag right here is a relative layout. Now a layout is just a general overview of it's saying how widgets should be positioned on the screen and there are different types of layouts that we can have but it's pretty much the overall rules of how things can be laid out. Um, now this text view right here is just this widget right here. So each widget you add actually adds a new XML element to your file. So say that we wanted to change the background color of this right here. Well, what we would do is actually go up to relative layout and add a new attribute. For right now, I just want to show you guys if you type Android colon and type background, then what you can do is you can actually type in a value here. Now, this is actually one of my favorite colors, 006699. Um, it's a blue color that I use on my website a lot. So again, you can also um, pretty much edit the interface this way through the source code. So again, the XML is your interface. We looked at how to change it with design, this design tool, and we're probably going to be using this one more often. And also, the source code directly is pretty much just like a website, um, kind of like Dreamweaver, if you ever use that. So, yeah. And actually, what I want to do is actually click this widget right here. And you see that I just clicked that and it gave me some problems. What I'm going to do is hit Control Z, and I'm going to show you guys this little tip. Over here in their component tree is pretty much an overview of your entire activity. So this is your entire screen. This is the layout of how the widgets are supposed to be arranged. And right here, I'm going to click Text View. So if you ever have a bunch of widgets and they're kind of hard to select, maybe they're close together or whatever, you can actually just select it right in this component tree, and it's going to select it for you. So again, deselect it, select it again, make selecting your widgets a little bit easier. And actually, what I want to do to this is change the color of the text to white. So I'm going to select that widget, and I know the property for this is text color. So if I find that, I'm just going to click in, well, I guess I'm just type it in, I know the value. The value of white is FFFFFF. And hit enter and check it out. Your text is now white probably the coolest app ever. Again, this tool right here, it isn't really that hard to understand, but we'll cover more about it later on. Got your widgets, component tree, properties, drag and drop, tomato, tomato. So now let's go ahead and hop over to this. Now there's actually one more file that I want to show you before I let you go. So each activity, like I said, is an XML and Java file. However, go up to your app and you're going to find a directory under it called manifest. Now expand this and you're going to find another XML file called Android Manifest.xml. Now double click that to open it and let me drag this all the way to the left. All right. So to recap one more time, your app is more likely than not going to have a bunch of different activities. Now this Android Manifest right here, think of this like is the main manager for your app or it's where everything comes together if you have a bunch of activities floating around they can be kinda of hard to keep track of so what this does again it's the main file that pretty much manages your entire app so each activity that you create this is actually gonna be a new element in the Android manifest file so I'll actually talk to you guys about this right now as soon as your application starts, of course, your phone doesn't know what to do. It says, okay, where do I go? You have a bunch of different activities. What am I supposed to be doing? The very first thing that your phone's going to do is it's going to look for a file called AndroidManifest.xml. So it says, okay, I'm always going to look for this file right here. And right after I open this file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all of your activities. Now, right now, we only have one activity. 
so it shouldn't take it too long to find but it's going to look through all your activities right here and it's going to look for a property called actually all these properties are kind of important but it's going to look for a property called launcher now this launcher is pretty much saying that this is the main activity that you want to launch first this is where your apps starting point is so it says okay I found it now let's check out this activity alright so it says the launcher is the main activity so from here you want me to go to the main activity so it hops over here and then it says okay well what's the deal with this main activity well all of this we'll talk about later essentially all this activity does right now is it sets this as your layout activity underscore main right there so again three very important files but that's essentially all our app is doing right here again I'm gonna be covering the details of everything later on but your phone is gonna look at this first Android manifest at XML it's gonna look for the activity that it's supposed to launch now ours says go to main activity and all main activity do T does right now well, I can't talk is it launches this layout so what the user does is they click to open this app and they see this layout but now we know what's going on behind the scenes so we can edit it and start making some really awesome stuff so for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and well I'll see you guys later